Hey and howdy everybody. You're watching me sift some powdered sugar onto some chocolate fudge cake mix cookies. And well, it's Christmas time. So we want to be festive and indulgent. And these chocolate fudge cake mix cookies that I'm dusting now with 10x powdered sugar sifted onto the tops once they're absolutely cooled or this will disappear and just be <laughs> absorb into the cookie. Um, these cookies, they baked at 350 for nine to 11 minutes. They actually underbake and then they sit for 10 minutes. Gee, is that enough? I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we are going to be sifting the cake mix into the other ingredients and we'll do that together because right now I have my mind set to make vanilla cake mix cookies. But there's a secret ingredient, y'all. And we're gonna move over here and you're gonna see what that is. It's eight ounces of cream cheese. And it's been softened. It's sitting out for a while. And so is the butter. One stick, that's eight tablespoons. That equals, did we say one half cup? That's right. So we are going to combine or cream together the softened full fat cream cheese, that's eight ounces, with the stick of softened butter. And that's not uncommon with cookie recipes. So, but the nice kick we're getting and what will happen with some great texture, these cookies are supposed to melt in your mouth, is a result of using the cream cheese and sifting the cake mix into the other ingredients. At least that's what I'm told. So let's make it happen. So I'm going to a cookie exchange tomorrow afternoon and it's a time to share recipes and talk about what we're doing for the holidays, how we're cooking and this is something new. This isn't a tried and true recipe. This is just another way to make a cake mix hack, if you will. Because those are always fun and economical and usually not too time consuming to make. So the trick with this cookie is to make sure that everything is smoothly incorporated. So that means you're gonna have to use a little elbow grease to cream together, even though it's been sitting a while and got to room temperature, the cream cheese and the butter. And I suppose you could use margarine, but I don't know. The recipe calls for butter and it is listed as a Christmas cookie. So I imagine it's okay to indulge some. So this happens pretty quickly. And you don't need a big bowl for this, as you can see. I'm using a large spoon. I'm using the flat back end of this large serving spoon to cream this together. I wouldn't recommend a fork because then it just gets in the tines and it's not as easy to manipulate and mix the two ingredients, mash them together. Now, another thing that this recipe calls for is one egg. But we never just throw an egg into the batter or the other ingredients because it could be a bad egg. And one bad egg could ruin the whole recipe. So it's always best to just do it separately, like so. And look at that, it's just fine. And put that right in there. Add to that one teaspoonful of vanilla extract. So this chocolate cream cheese cookie recipe, I found randomly online on more than one site. And again, I think it's just right for the holidays. And I like the versatility. I can use vanilla, white cake mix, strawberry cake mix, chocolate fudge cake mix. My gosh, I mean, you can really go for it. Now I am going to use another spoon to help get some of the stuff that's already on the big spoon off 
and really help me to uh, manipulate the mixture. And the trick here is I need to get it really smooth before adding any of the cake mix. The only other thing that I would have changed when making the chocolate was a pinch of salt. Sometimes you want a little bit of salt with that sweet. Now I don't know if I'll do that here. Being vanilla, I was pretty liberal with the vanilla extract. I do that. <laughs> and uh, again, there's so many different types of extract you could use as well. You could change that flavor up. There's maple extract, there's lemon extract, there's all types nowadays, almond. A lot of Italian cookies at Christmas time will use almond extract. Okay, so we are working to get this as smooth as we can. Some folks would say, just use a mixer. Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> Let's see. I do want to put just a little salt to offset the sweet. Not much. Not much at all. When I say a little salt, I mean like that. That's quite enough for a batch this small. And I believe there's salt plenty in our cake mix as well, as sweet as it can be. Okay, now this is only gonna get smoother as we incorporate our cake mix into it. This might be as smooth as it's gonna get right now. We'll use our child cheater to scrape off the sides. I can smell the cream cheese and the vanilla, it smells good. When we were doing the chocolate, I thought to myself, we could have added chocolate extract. They have that these days. I find plenty of these things right there at the grocery store. I don't even have to go online or to a specialty, a specialty shop to find all these neat ingredients so that I can change it up and do whatever I want with this basic recipe. Okay, so I think it's time to sift in. Now it's really going to get messy, y'all. This is a thick, sticky batter because it's not traditional. And so we are going to sift in our cake mix. And here's what we're going to use to sift that in. A strainer with very small holes. All right. So thank you very much. My camera person and assistant will be helping me with this. All righty. And I'm going to start. Do you want to hold this? Yeah. And if you feel like doing that, okay. Mm -hmm. That can get a little messy. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, that's a good start. And now I'm just going to just, you don't even have to do much with the spoon. You could just shake it and it starts to sift right away. Look at that. Right away. Okay. I don't always take over those small bits. And you start incorporating it, incorporating it quickly. And you can see the fat getting into taking over that's good that happens pretty fast okay we're going to keep going because it is going to get drier and stickier as we progress and again this is a dry cake mix no other ingredients except what you've already seen me use Okay, let's keep going. You can probably get the rest in there for me, and that'll do it. Yeah, there we go. And it smells really good, by the way. Okay. Well, it always smells good in this house this time of year. Okay. 
And I don't even have to get the spoon in here. And I don't know, you don't have to get it all in there. That's good enough. That dry little bit of hard sugar at the bottom that you sift out, we don't need to put that in there. These are supposedly very, I'm going to get messy, y'all. Uh-oh. These are supposedly very um, light, airy cookies. Though they'll look very big and puffy, as you've just seen with the chocolate. They are very light inside and tasty and melt in your mouth. And what we're doing here is supposed to be the big reason for that. So now I see I've really got to get the ingredients to blend here. i got to get really aggressive. And I might have to start going in with my hands. It's sort of looking... This is beginning to look and feel a little bit like um, pie crust. <laughs> There's enough fat in here. Anyway, um, and as you can see, it's getting nice and doughy. There we are. Now we've got the cookie dough consistency. See it? We've reached that point. So like I said, there's some elbow grease involved in here and it's sticky, but oh, is it worth it? Because we've already had a couple of the cookies <laughs> once they were cooled and they are amazing, frankly. So and I'm sure these vanilla ones will be just as amazing. And right now, I already have the cookie sheet prepared. This is the parchment paper we'll be using. And I will be placing these on the parchment up to 9 to 12 at a time and putting this on the baking sheet and baking them 9 to 11 minutes maximum at 350 because they're better to be underbaked than overbaked. I will be using this scoop to measure what it is I'm taking out and it will look like this. And yes, your hands will get sticky. And you do want them to be around the same size, and that's a perfect size. That gets you that. Because it's a cake mix, it gets nice and fluffy. And boy, are they good. So, thanks very much. This is what we're doing. And happy baking. Happy holidays. Bye. <laughs>